a lot of the focus has been on foreign direct investments, right? Um, so in Ghana, we have GIPC, right, which is set up to, to promote foreign investment. But I think we equally need to actually look at the largest investors are local, right? It's our local businesses and our local entrepreneurs. And they are the ones with the greatest uh, uh, um, skin in the game, right? And so it's not just about how do we create the right climate for foreigners to come and invest, but we also need to think about do we have the right climate for local entrepreneurs? Are we paying attention to local entrepreneurs? Are we ensuring that local businesses thrive and are successful? And that is one of the missing pieces. How do you say that that is missing? Because we are looking at a country where the government has come in with different programs. They are trying to move away from taxation. And they're saying that we're looking at industrialization. So let's move to production. Those are the things you're looking at. I mean, I thought that in the last three years, they are doing their best to see these things come to fruition. Look, ultimately, there is the divergence between um, policy, right? Uh, policy intent versus the oper operationalization of the policy and what you see on the ground. And so take industrialization, for example. Um, it's not enough. The intent is good. And I definitely applaud governments for recognizing the importance of industrialization and for championing that industrialization. But if we think about the implementation of it, industrialization requires, necessitates fixing infrastructure. Right? So we can't talk about having creating an industrial economy in Ghana when we don't have the right type of road networks, or it's difficult for me to get goods, or I'm going to have issues with, with, uh, uh, um, at the ports, right? And, and so th th there's a transportation and infrastructure component to it. There's a power component to it. And even on the policy side,